Are you a beginner on Amazon looking to get into snack foods with a vendor, meaning you have an account? Well, there's an easy way and there's a hard way to do it. I've been doing it for years. In fact, 70% of my Amazon sales are in grocery. And man, do I have a story to tell you. So stick around. We're going to get into it right now. This is what to sell on Amazon. I'm Horace. Let's go. Okay, hustlers, thank you for taking a moment of your time to spend with me out of your day. I really appreciate it. My name is Horace, also known as La Machine, and this channel is all about selling on Amazon for a profit using the arbitrage business model. So if you're interested in doing that, especially if you're a newbie, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that, hit that bell notification because we're putting up four videos a week, two of which are specifically dedicated to giving newbies ungated leads because we recognize that is probably your biggest challenge and obstacle, finding products that you can actually sell. Guys, you can do this, but you might need a little help. So go ahead and subscribe. So this video right off the bat is not about getting ungated in grocery. If that's what you're looking to do, you can get into a Frontier Co-op they do work. And another note, this channel is primarily about using the arbitrage business model. Now, once you get a vendor, then technically you are now doing wholesale. So just keep that in mind. But there's a method to all of this. So pay attention. So here's the deal. Number one, why would you want to get into snack foods? Now you're talking grocery and gourmet, but this video is specific about snack foods. So we're talking about cookies, cakes, potato chips, candy, things that Americans love to snack on. And let me tell you, they really, really love to do it. You're going to find out once you get into this. So some of the reasons that you would want to do it is number one, they are replenishable. <laughs> Right. Everybody, especially newbies that get into Amazon, the first thing they want is replenishables. OK, so there you have it. The margins are decent. OK, you're not going to get fantastic margins, but you're going to get decent margins. And because that inventory turns, uh, you're going to get move a lot of inventory. Uh, snack foods require more work because most of the time you're going to have to you're going to have to put together multi packs that requires more work so it's going to give you that degree of separation because you got a lot of people out here that will not do that amount of work okay and again like i said there's very high turnover that inventory moves okay so you will get your sale count and reviews up which is going to help you to get auto ungated in other brands and and categories okay so I'm going to show you my screen real quick. So just bear with me a moment and we're going to take a, a quick look at my Amazon account. And the only thing we're going to look at guys, we only want to look at a couple of things. So what we want to look at is Today is November the 1st, the year is 2020. And we're looking at what I have done. Let me get my glasses here. <clears throat> we're gonna look at what I have, excuse me. We're gonna look at what I have done so far for the year. So I've done $166,713 and 36 cents. And that's up because you can see last year for the entire year, we did about uh, 103,000. So, but here's what, where, where I want you to really pay attention right now. We're going to jump into my inventory lab. And that's important because this is where you look at your accounting. Now, here's what I want you to look at. Number one, we're looking at my sales for the last six months. And you can see that I sell in 25 categories and one category really sticks out. We're looking at the number of units sold. Oh, five, four, one, two, 54, 48, 17. All of a sudden you jump up to 3,578 units sold in the past six months. Again, here we go again. Look at the revenue 
Oh, you got $38, $89, $17, $100. Then all of a sudden you jump up to $67,807.05. And you're talking over 70% of my sales coming from um, a grocery. So you see that there? And that's significant. So I do know a little bit about this. You know, I need to be properly vetted just like anyone else, right? If I'm gonna be talking to you about it. So now let's get into it. Now remember, you got the easy way to get yourself a vendor and then you've got the hard way. So let's, let's look at the hard way first. The hard way is this, you got a company, that you want to sell their snack foods, okay? And I'm talking like potato chips, okay? But it could be Tasty Cakes, it could be Little Debbie, it could be whatever it may be. The hard way is to go and look up the company. You'd go online and do that, right? Then you try and find a number to call, right? You need a number. That way you can try to get past their gatekeeper that really doesn't care about you. That gatekeeper has one mission, get you out of their face as quickly as possible so they can get back to Facebook or Snapchat or whatever is important in their lives. Okay. If you do get past the gatekeeper, right? Cause I've gotten a runaround. If you do get past the gatekeeper, then you're lucky enough to get an account manager. And then you get to tiptoe around what type of operation you're running. Cause I'm going to tell you, there are really not too many wholesalers that like Amazon, right? Think about it for a second. What, what are you going to tell them? Uh, I'd like to sell your products along with the 50 other people that are selling your products. That way we can get into a price war and tank the, the price and devalue your company. Can I join? <laughs> you, you got it, guys. You got to understand. Wholesalers don't really need you in most cases. If this is an established brand, they already got enough people. What are you going to tell them? Do you really want to figure it out or do you just want to sell the products because you know you can sell them? That's what you want to do. So now we can just jump on to the easy way. The easy way is this. Pick a brand of snack food. And again, I'm, I'm talking potato chips, uh, pretzels, cheese puffs, stuff like that, because I sell a lot of that. So the easy way to do it is to start with arbitrage. In other words, don't say, oh, I like this brand. Let's see if I can get a wholesale account. And now let's see what we can do. You, you're doing this wrong. You're not going to be able to approach them with what they really want. So get some arbitrage sales and I mean, get some considerable sales. So, you know, with the company that you're looking to go at. Now, once you have those numbers, eventually, you know, what's going to happen. You're going to actually come across the driver salesman. You know, you ever been in the grocery store and you see a guy that works for the brand and he's physically stocking the shelves, setting up displays, doing whatever they do. You're going to come across him. Hustlers, they are approachable. They don't bite. So you simply go up to him and you do two things. You ask him, does he do cash sales? Now here's, a, I'm paraphrasing, you'll, you'll kind of craft your own delivery here. But you kind of want to say, uh, do you do cash sales? Because I'm selling X amount of XYZ products. Now you got his attention. You have his attention because you're talking his language and you're talking numbers. Okay, let me explain what I mean. When you say, hey, do you do cash sales? Well, that's vendor jargon and it means he can sell to you right out of his or her truck without you having a formal account. And yes, you will get the product cheaper than if you bought it at the store. Okay, plus you can place orders, which means you're gonna have access to his entire catalog. So you're not just limited to what that store has on the shelves. You can look through the whole catalog and this is going to be significant because now you can get into some things that you otherwise may not have had access to. Okay. And you won't have to deal with five shopping carts at the, at the cash register. Okay. In many cases, 
you get your numbers high enough, they'll actually deliver right to your house. I have this done all the time. And so my point is this, getting that account has benefits all the way around. And you haven't even officially gone wholesale just yet, okay? Now, here you, you, you gotta understand something though. You have to understand something. You, you're speaking his language and you're giving him numbers. You got to be able to say, hey, you know what? Uh, I was wondering if you did cash sales because I'm moving like 90 units of this a month. Now you got his attention. This is something he understands. OK, a lot of them even work on commission, so they're going to be motivated to work with you. OK, if he says yes, then you simply exchange numbers and you can start making arrangements for your first order. Now you will have to pay cash, okay? You will get a proper receipt, you will not get an invoice. So we're not talking about getting you ungated. This is a situation that it won't, getting ungated won't matter. Cause what I'm telling you to start with arbitrage. So you're already selling the products, which means you was approved to sell it just by virtue of being approved in grocery and gourmet. You're going to find brands that you can sell just because you're approved in grocery and gourmet. Okay. So if he says no, then ask him to put you in contact with his manager and you can work from there. That's what I did in order to get on with Frito-Lay. But I can tell you for Frito-Lay, I had to have an EIN number and I had, a, had to have a state license and everything or they didn't want to hear it. Uh, but I will tell you in my experience, and you saw my numbers, 90% of the vendors out there will do cash sales, especially smaller regional brands, which is where you need to concentrate anyway. And here's why. You got brands that are just specific and kind of niche in your area. That is so important, okay? You really don't want to get into these national brands because everybody can sell these national brands. You've got brands of snack foods, candy, chips that are specific to your area or your region. You know what happens? These people move to other parts of the United States and they want that taste of home. Food is more than just for taste just for you know to keep you alive food ties into culture it ties into tradition we are very much attached to food and you're going to learn real quick how how easily someone will pay forty dollars for three bags of potato chips i'm telling you so that is the reason why but you gotta understand something guys you got to be talking numbers, okay? Numbers translate to dollars. And if you ain't talking dollars, you ain't making no sense to him. So that's why I say, by the time you walk up to him, you're going to be confident because you're already moving the numbers. You've already been doing this through arbitrage. When you can walk up to him and say, hey, look, can you do, uh, can you do cash sales? Because I'm moving 150 of these a month. Boom, you got them. One way or another, it's going to happen. But you got to be talking dollars. You got to be talking numbers. That's what he understands. All this Tony Robbins you've been listening to, walking across coals, all this motivation and all these affirmations, they ain't trying to hear that. They need numbers. You gotta, you gotta, you can't walk up saying, hey, um, I'd like to get an account so that we could see what happens and we could try this and theoretically we should be do, able to do that. No, no, no. You gotta walk up to him saying, hey, check this out, bro. I'm already doing it with your brand and here's what I'm doing. Let's see what we can work out. That's what he understands, okay? So all your motivational speeches and all of that stuff, that's great for you. Now you gotta translate that and put it into action to something that's valuable to him. Numbers, numbers, okay? That's the watch word for today, numbers. It's just that simple, guys, okay? So if there's anything else that you need to know about snack foods, there's, there's much more. All I'm talking about is landing an account with a vendor, being able to work directly with a vendor. This is the easy way to do it. If you like the hard way, go for it. You can do it that way. Uh, but if there's anything that I didn't cover, leave a comment or you can connect with me. The hustlers will tell you that you can text the words working class hustler to the number on your screen. I will respond. We'll get connected. And then from there, 
uh, we'll be able to to get you going. You can ask me any questions. We can start to work together, whatever. And here's what I want you to do, if, especially if you're new to arbitrage. Watch this video. We're going to put it down here or in, on the end screen. Somewhere you'll be able to click on it. And you want to go to the seven steps to picking a profitable product video. And there are plenty of other great resources right down in the description. So enjoy those and I'll see you in the next video.